So, what is the reticular activating system? And how does it affect our beliefs and behaviours? The reticular activating system, or RAS as it's referred to, is the gatekeeper of our consciousness. It's a network of neurons or nerve bundles found in the brainstem that controls sensory information, alertness, sleep-wake transitions and attention and acts as a filter for the vast amount of sensory information our brains receive every second. It decides what gets through to our consciousness and what doesn't and so shapes our experience of the world and our reactions to it. At any given time only a certain amount of information is useful to our brains. For instance, <clears throat> if there's a lion about to attack you, that's the only information your brain needs to make you run for your life. And it actively blocks any other info so that you're not distracted by anything else and your only focus is running away from the lion. So as the RAS is pivotal in filtering and processing information that's incoming, it impacts our beliefs and behaviours through its role in attention and perception by prioritising information that's brought to our conscious awareness and so shapes our perception of reality. And this perception can reinforce existing beliefs and biases as we are more likely to notice information that aligns with our preconceptions. So the RAS influences cognitive filtering where the brain selectively processes information that is consistent with our beliefs and attitudes. And this filtering can lead to a confirmation bias, where individuals pay more attention to information that confirms their beliefs and disregards information that contradicts them. Our deepest beliefs mostly were installed because of what our caregivers, teachers, coaches, families, family members taught us. What they said, what they did and what we learned from them formed the beliefs we live with today. And some of these beliefs are hidden and operating behind the scenes. Other beliefs are very obvious. Either way, they are creating the results we keep seeing in our lives. So the focus of attention determined by the RAS can influence our behavioural responses. For example, if we have the limiting belief that we are not good at public speaking, the RAS will filter in every bit of information that supports this belief and filters out information that contradicts it. This serves to reinforce the belief, limiting our ability to see alternatives or possibilities for improvement. Or on the flip side of the coin, if we focus on positive stuff, we can promote positive behaviors and a sense of well-being. And so can use tried and tested methods to reframe these limiting beliefs and expand our horizons. So how can we change these limiting beliefs? Our brains have the ability to change and adapt, which means that our neural patterns and consequently our beliefs are not fixed. It's called neuroplasticity. Our beliefs can be changed through deliberate action and practice. This in turn changes the rules that our RAS 
uses to filter information, allowing us to perceive a broader range of possibilities, enabling us to become more of who we are. The res just reinforces what's in our consciousness. So if our thoughts or beliefs in a neural pathway is, I don't like exercise, guess what? You'll battle to get into a fitness routine because your RAS will only filter out information that will make you avoid exercise at all costs to the point where it will block information about any fitness successes you might achieve. And that's one of the most important things to know about neural pathways and RAS. It's an automatic process that cannot distinguish between good and bad, good and bad behavior. Your RAS does not care whether getting fit is good or bad for you. It only automates what's in your neural pathways. So to create change and instill a new behavior, you have to reprogram the neural pathway to something like, I love exercise. It makes me feel alive and full of energy. And then your RAS will automate that behavior. If you want to set a goal like the fitness goal, make sure you're very clear about what you want because your RAS loves clarity. The more details you include, the better your RAS can help you find the path to what it is that you want to achieve. <coughs> <coughs> so be brave and dream bigger than you normally do and let your RAS be your guide. So whether you're daydreaming about something on your wish list or setting goals, Close your eyes and imagine your success with all the colors, sounds, feelings. Your Raz, your brain superhero, thinks it's real and that pushes you to turn those mental movies into reality. When you feel that you're in tune with your goal in your mind, some positive words to match that goal can be really helpful. So for instance, you could say, this feels right for me and I'm doing it. These words program your RAS to look for situations that match your words. So remember to focus on the good stuff as your RAS loves to shine a spotlight on whatever you tell it is important. Train it to focus on the good things that connect to your goals. And as your RAS shines, it lights on all the appropriate and good things. And you'll uncover opportunities you might have missed. Something else to help the RAS along is, <clears throat> is mindfulness. You could think about mindfulness as training for your RAS because it's all about being super aware of what's happening right now. When we're mindful, we're telling our RAS to pay attention, which helps us make choices that steer us closer to our goals. So, to wrap up, our brain's reticular activating system is like having a personal success coach in your head. By giving it clear instructions, painting vivid mental pictures, using positive affirmations, focusing on the good stuff, and practicing mindfulness, you're teaming up with your brain's superhero to upgrade your life in many ways, eroding limiting beliefs and elevating hopes and dreams way beyond current horizons. So if you have enjoyed this, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and see you next time.